I believe it's been long since I last reviewed uh, True Wireless, but this time I will review a really really cute True Wireless from Moondrop. And first of all, thank you for my friend Chatur Sugiato for providing me with this review unit. And yeah, hello and welcome to Afterson Review, and this is my review for Moondrop Neko Cake. And I have to say that I'm a little bit uh, confused maybe by the naming of this True Wireless itself because Neko means cat in Japanese, but cake is not Japanese. Yeah, cake is just cake in English. So it's cat cake. Mm, I don't know. Okay, I will break down this review from the build, fit, frequency response feature, and sound. Okay, the build is mm, for me just like the usual True Wireless. It's all plastic. But here is the case itself, and you get this Neko cake logo in top of it, and also charging right on the below and you get this color indicator for the battery life and then when you open them you just see this like this it's definitely reminds me of the airpods and yeah just plug them out like that and they're all also use uh, plastic for the material and then this is the piece of the ear guide i mean the piece of the ims itself the trailers itself so you get this mic around this part, you get this uh, kind of cute um, cat logo, I don't know, it looks like uh, the cat is sleeping and then you get this Neko cake writing on it and after all, uh, overall it still looks, yeah, it's okay, it's all made of plastic. Okay, I think there's not a lot of thing I could say about the fit but it's just simply perfect for my ear, it's small and I could use them for hours without any itchiness on anything that makes me uncomfortable it's just perfectly fit for my ears well when it comes to features I need to tell you that it is operated using tap control so there's no button anywhere it's only using tap around this area and then it's all already supported active noise cancelling that is quite decent after I tried and yeah it's already uh, support Bluetooth 5.0 and then you can connect them with the Moondrop link which is the Moondrop's own app to get a better equalization for this true wireless and then you have some presets too in that Moondrop app you need to try and uh, connect them first and then it's using a quite decent battery I guess the battery of the true wireless itself is not really long it's only four hours and then using the case it's 12 hours so it's 12 and plus 4 in total I think it won't be uh, I have been trying them and I it's been four days that I haven't charged them so yeah maybe I think it's quite good uh, but not the best I believe and then one thing that I realized that is quite unique it's it is said that it's using Mitsuki Yuki voice if you have noticed the Mundra before it's using a uh, it's always using this masked girl that is uh, pink haired and also looking very anime-ish style and yeah that's what I imagine uh, the voice of the Mitsuki Ki herself and yeah that's what you get here it's very very cute maybe if you like that kind of Japanese voice actress so when you connect them for the first time you will hear connected or also when you disconnected them it will uh, she will sound a little bit uh, sad, disconnected, connected, disconnected, or, or something like that. But nevertheless, it feels uh, quite cute. Maybe like when you turn on on third of the ANC, ANC on and ANC off. It's also using a very Japanese uh, girl-like voice. So yeah, if you're into something like that, this is some, some uh, very cute feature. I think. Frequency response wise, I say that this is a somehow simply warm IM. You could see that there's a bass boost around this area and also lower mid range bump, and then the upper mid range is not really um, significant, and also after that, the trouble is not really extended. So, yeah, I have tried them using my iBest so the X160 and also my phone, the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and for me they definitely sound warm with focus more on the lower mid-range and also the bass area so that makes the whole sound more into warm side. And yeah, for me they are very safe sounding through wireless. Let's talk about the bass first. It's a big bass and will 
it, get, uh, it will definitely gives a lot of thump, a lot of punch for you, and for me that's quite satisfying. But it's not the fastest bass uh, either, so it's quite slow for me actually. So when I'm hearing uh, metal or rock music, I feel that it's too slow. But for me, here's the thing. We are talking about True Wireless here, it's quite different from I am, which I usually see that the True Wireless is being used more on the commute or maybe when you're walking in the park or something like that. I mean, it's always on a busier and also more noisy environment. So yeah, I definitely expect a lot of bass coming from True Wireless because we're using it usually outdoor in a noisy environment and that's exactly what you get here but it's just for me too slow if you're uh, really listening to it in critical condition and then the mid-range may be the one that I always like when it comes to Moondrop usually they always have this kind of soothing vocal and that's exactly what I get from this IM2 it's very smooth, it's very sweet but for me Personally, it's lacking some upper mid-range uh, upper mid-range energy. So for me, when I hear some song from Taeyeon, I or from uh, some vocalist like Lisa in Gurenge, for me, the sound is not uh, open enough. It feels like the power of the singer when she screams, it feels a little bit congested, a little bit uh, limited. Uh, so yeah, for me, it sometimes can be a little bit too warm sometimes for those kind of musicians or those kind of vocal. But it has no problem uh, when you hear male vocals such as Still Devo, Josh Groban or anything. For me, the male vocals really good in here. It's just the male vocal is not really open. But you get that sweetness. It's very sweet sounding I am. And also for me, the treble is the main weakness here because it definitely too warm for my taste, it's too dark, it doesn't have a really good extension, it, just, it doesn't really sparkle either, it just sometimes feels playing it too safe. So when I hear violin, I hear a lot of um, orchestral music, I hear cymbals, it just doesn't, it's not enough for me, it's just too, uh, the quantity is too small for me, it's, too, it's definitely not for neutral head or treble head. It's for those who just want a really safe kind of tonality with smooth mid-range and punchy bass that you will get that here. So it's a really safe IM for me. And technical wise, um, for me, yeah, it's not really good. It sounds quite narrow. It doesn't have a really good separation and also resolution either. So yeah, it's just a really safe sounding true wireless and honestly, it reminds me of some IMs that I praise for its sonality in cheap price like the Blonde BLO3 or the Tanshim Tanya and they have a quite similar similar problem too in the treble area for me the Tanshim Tanya and Blonde BLO3 sometimes could sound a little bit too relaxed in the treble area and lacking extension and sparkle and that's exactly what I hear from this Tan uh, Moondrop Neko Cake 2 so I think that's all I could say about this Moondrop Echo Cake. So do I recommend them? I feel as a true wireless, yes, I still definitely could recommend them. You get that very safe sounding, punchy bass, and sweet vocals with mid-range, but you'll get that lacking of a trouble area, and it's not really resolving either, but you get a lot of feature here, and you get that noise cancelling. For me, yeah, as a true wireless, when it comes to function, and the purpose of the sound, I think they nailed it at a cheap price too. So uh, I think that's all. It's a very safe product. It's an okay product for me. It's not really good. It's not really bad either. For But for True Atlas, I could still recommend them. So I hope you enjoyed this review. And if you have any questions, please write down in the comment below. And see you next time. Bye-bye.